I know that bureaucracy in the Philippines is a whole different level. When I went to the LTO, I was already expecting the worst. Yeah, where do I go? Over there? <laughs> yeah, let's do this. <laughs> for everybody who has been in my shoes. I wish you the best of luck and I hope everything works out for you. Super efficient. I am surprised. Philippines government institution is better, or more efficient than an Austrian one. That was a huge surprise. Hello, welcome to the vlog. Oh, thank you so much, Kuya. In highs and lows we see. Here we go, Department of Transportation. Getting my driver's license renewed. Ah, lovely, lovely activity. I have to admit that was a very, very short visit. <laughs> For the reason that I have to go to Manila, I am currently in Tagay Thai. So Econ here was about to help me. Econ is the local here. And there's no other work around. They said that there's a new memo that came out for foreigners. They're very strict with it. So I have to go to the main office in Manila. Welcome to the Austrian Embassy in Manila. Okay, so I'm currently at the Austrian Embassy because I have to renew my passport. I only have three pages left. I traveled quite a lot in the last year, so it's good full. And I have three more trips coming up within one month. So I have to make sure that I have enough pages for stamps. And this is my purpose of this visit. So, so far, so good. It's uh, very empty as you can see, very different from the Bureau of Immigration in Intramuros. I was also talking to Lara, the lady at the counter, super, super nice, smooth. <laughs> it was just, I'm not used to this anymore, it's just uh, very easy going. That was so quick. I spent 45 minutes in there, had to fill out some forms, get fingerprints and now I just have to head over to the mall because I forgot my password pictures, but otherwise Super smooth experience, super fast. I'm surprised to be very honest because, you know, the experiences in the past with the Austrian Embassy were a little bit different, but I'm happy it changed. Quality increased, so thumbs up. Now I'm going to have coffee. I need coffee and then I'll do the passport pictures. And then we continue our errands day with the LTO. Let's take a second to talk about something that might improve your life as much as it did mine. So I have a very German way of working, very structured and highly efficient. And of course, most of my work happens online, meaning that I am on my laptop all the time. I made the switch to a different browser and it changed everything. Let me introduce you to Opera. It's faster, it's safer, and it's smarter than usual default browsers. And Opera is fully featured for privacy, security and everything you do online. Let me introduce you to a few tools. Number one, Aria. It is one of the biggest tools and highlights that I absolutely love and it is the integrated AI tool which you can find in the sidebar. You can type in prompts and it will give you generated content based on your ideas and it will give you clear answers and instantly and it's providing real-time information. This is something that I use on a daily basis for my private life and my business life. Next up, tab islands. My brain is sometimes very fast and I end up having too many tabs open and I think you guys can relate. With Opera, you can easily organize tabs and save space by collapsing islands. It will group the tabs according to the context, which makes it organized and effortless to browse. Next one is a really good one, which is the ad blocker. It's something that we all need, right? Yeah, it stops the internet from overwhelming you from ads, which is what an ad blocker does. And something that I personally like a lot is the fact there is no extension needed. It's integrated in the browser. Next one is for the music lovers, which is the player. If you are like me and love to listen to music all the time, this feature is for you. You can find the player in the sidebar that connects seven streaming services. Spotify will just pop up on the side. You can choose your music and continue browsing. This is a good one. I know you guys love messaging on Facebook and this feature 
feature is the messenger feature. At this point, you already know that everything is seamlessly integrated in Opera. You can access your Facebook Messenger, your WhatsApp Messenger, Telegram, and many, many more. And the best part is all notifications are in one place. You don't have to jump around between tabs or apps. Next one is the Lucid Mode. This feature sharpens your videos in one click. You can just hover over any videos and click the Lucid Mode button to enable it. The next one is something that I use on a daily basis and if you see my desktop screen, you'll just know. It's the snapshot feature. You can create, edit and share perfect online screenshots. You can frame exactly what you want and add text for memes, add some stickers or other effects. I have a few more. Wallpapers. I love personalizing my workspace and with Opera browser, you have the option of having thousands of wallpapers available to do so. Next one is the Battery saver. This feature will expand your laptop's battery life with one click and you can just browse up to one hour longer. And last but not least, workspaces. You can keep the tabs in separate workspaces and organize and simplify your browsing. All right, that's a lot of very good reasons to give Opera a try, right? So if you want to do so, there's a link in the description box down below. I personally love it. It has been a blessing for my daily browsing, for my work, for my private life and everything. So yeah, link is in the description box down below and now back to the vlog on my way to Quezon City let's go hi mom hello welcome to the so vlog oh thank you so much Kuya. <laughs> so sweet <laughs> I made it to the LTO here in Quezon City um, this is the entrance over there but I'm not going in there because apparently Hans knows a shortcut that will probably save me from a lot of waiting time and a lot of hassle after going with him to <laughs> the immigration office he's like oh oh my god like i i don't think i can do another day of those and i'm like i think i can't do it either so if that other thing works out that would be amazing because it's the extension um center so let's see Hello. Hello! Hi Hans! Hi. Are you tired? Day two. <laughs> Day two. <laughs> Take two. So I have to provide the affidavit of loss. So that's yeah, what I'm okay, doing. Okay, 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 yeah, where do I go? Over there? <laughs> okay, for the renewal, I don't have to do the medical really test uh, because my driver's license Thank has you. not expired yet. Thank you, boss. So I just have to bring the affidavit of loss, valid ID, hopefully, and then it will get sorted, I guess. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> We're going in with uh, hopeful spirits. It will work out. Positive vibes only. Thank you so much. I love the Philippines. It's my home, you know. Yeah. My second home, yes. I prefer the Philippines. Contilang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was 10 to 15 minutes, right? So I'm glad we came here. What is the name of this uh, of this office? This is the Quezon City Extension Office. Okay, yeah. extension notice. So this one here, super efficient. I am surprised. I am happy. I don't have to spend the whole day here. Hans is happy too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got my temporary li driver's license, and I'm going to pick it up in like one month. They said. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Done for today! Yee! <laughs> Okay, let's talk about the difference of going to the Austrian embassy versus going to the LTO office. Um, I thought in Austria, like the Austrian embassy will be super efficient, which it was. Pleasant experience, which was well, I was also surprised with because, you know, in Austria, bureaucracy is also a thing. When I went to the LTO, I was already expecting the worst because I know that bureaucracy in the Philippines is a whole different level. And yeah, um, even like going through my whole ACR card issue at the immigration office just showed me how much time people spend at these government offices and I was already prepared for the worst. But behold, yeah. behold, when I went to the LTO, to the extension office, it took me 10 minutes. And that was insane that, 
you know, a Philippines government institution is better or more efficient than an Austrian one. That was a huge surprise for me. And then everybody there was just super, super friendly. Um, they had some time to chat and, you know, we had some good conversations going on. And I'm super, super happy that I had Hans with me who helped me out uh, with everything. So, yeah, I just uh, felt like I wanted to take a moment and talk about my experience because it can also be a pleasant one. So yeah, um, it's a big surprise for me because you know everything in the Philippines is kind of like going forward and there's a lot of development happening. There's a lot of um, yeah modernization as well, slowly but surely. So I was surprised that uh, there are no plastic uh, driver's licenses anymore and apparently it was a huge issue and it went viral i just wanted to say for everybody who has been in my shoes um, and has to go through the procedure i wish you the best of luck and i hope everything works out for you because i'm not sure if a driver's license that is in paper form will be accepted internationally in any case i am super super happy it's all sorted and i don't have to deal with any paperwork any government institutions for quite some time because it has been quite a hustle and uh i'm done <laughs> and to treat ourselves we're going to have some ramen tonight so let's go I decided to try the uh, mushroom bun. Ooh, look at that glaze. Wow. Mm. Ah, it's with pickled cucumber. Oh, I just love the meaty flavor of the mushrooms. So nicely marinated. Yeah. Ooh, I love the, how the steam is coming out. Wow. Okay, they gave me a bib because they know it's Nelly, probably. <laughs> I'm very clumsy, but I'll try to do it without the bib. So this is actually a form of ramen where you have the dry ramen and then you dip it into the sauce. Come on. Wow. Ah, good job, Nelly. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Wait. Let me fix this. Let me fix this. You can cut this, right? The benefit of having your editor with you. So, wow, okay. Dip it. Mm. Mm. Wow, yeah, very rich flavor. So much umami. It's the miso soup, I think. Mm. Then we have some bamboo shoots here. Oh yeah, we have some pieces of pork. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, so Hello Kitty took uh, a steaming bath in our soups uh, because this one got a little bit cold. So you know when uh, very 
fatty soup gets cold. You see the layer on top, and this one is hot. So she was just taking a bath. Very cute, huh? Yeah. It's a first for me to experience this. Yeah. If you made it this far, you must either be a hardcore fan or you really enjoyed my content. So thank you so, so much for it. The next one is me actually giving back to you guys as well because I also want to help you turn your passion into a YouTube career like I did it with three channels. I established three of these and if you want to do the same, please feel free to follow my passion project, Freedom Creator Academy, where I share some free tips and insights about YouTube. And I also offer one-on-one -on -one consulting calls and I'm also going to launch classes, which I already did last year, which was a huge success so definitely follow for more details all of the links are in the description box down below in every single video thank you so much for your love and support so far i really appreciate you so so much Mwah.